Good morning, this is Andrea from Sony Alpha Rumors. Today we'll talk a bit about the possibility of Sony making a medium format system. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, Solid Source told me that uh, within 12 months uh, we will get a new kind of camera without going into the specifics of that camera. So we don't, I really don't know what it could be. It could be a new APS-C camera, it could be a new full form camera, it could be a new medium format camera. The last time I got a similar rumor, it was uh, three years ago, uh, when the same source told me there was a new kind of camera coming and it uh, turned out to be the Sony A A7C. So please don't read too much uh, into all the wild guesses. For now, we don't know what's coming. But today we will talk medium format because I think it's one of the possible options. Uh, it's a bit of a wild idea, but maybe Sony could really do this. Um, and the reason why I think there's a case for a Sony medium format system is that we learned from the past two years that high-end cameras, expensive higher cameras, really do sell well. They have a higher profit margin and people love to buy stuff that is simply exciting. Um, the Fuji GFX, which I have here, sold a lot, quite a lot more than Fuji expected. Also, the Sony A1, that is a pretty expensive camera for a full phone camera, sold really well. And so I think the burden to uh, launch a new Sony medium format system is uh, less than it was years ago. Uh, remember in 2017, Sony said like, officially that uh, they don't plan to make a medium format system yet, but it's certainly something they would consider doing it if there is a market for it. That's what I officially said. So uh, let's start with a few facts we know about the uh, Sony medium format system. Sony patented plenty of um, cameras and lenses, medium format cameras and lenses, and they have three things on common. There is three things that make them stand out. First, uh, all patents show that they use a larger sensor than the GFX sensor. Uh, this, the GFX sensor is 1.7 times larger than full frame. The Sony sensor, medium format sensor that is patented uh, is 2.2 times larger than full frame, which makes sense to differentiate more from their full frame system. Uh, I think it's a must that they go for an even larger sensor. The second aspect that is pretty crazy is that their medium format sensor is actually curved. Um, and Sony writes in the patents that uh, compared to classic um, medium format lenses, a curved sensor would allow, the to, uh, would allow to cut the size of the lens by one third, which is pre pretty stunning. Uh, if we make a rough comparison between the Fuji and the Sony medium format system, the patented system, Sony would use a larger sensor but thanks to the curved sensor, they, I expect the lenses to be about the same size of the Fuji lenses, which is pretty stunning. Um, the third thing that is very clear from the patterns is that they would go for primes and not for zooms at the beginning. Um, all patterns describe lens designs for curved sensors and uh, the aperture is always 2.8. In full frame terms, that would be an equivalent of 1.7. Uh, there are patterns for 50 millimeter 1.7. I'm reading them now. I'm reading them now. 100 millimeter 1.7, 160 millimeter 1.7, 200 millimeter 1.7, and a crazy 240 millimeter 1.7. What's very interesting is the 50 millimeter 1.7. In the, in the, uh, in the, uh, I'm reading now the full frame uh, terms of that lens. Is uh, only two centimeter larger than the size 50 millimeter 1.4. Uh, for the e-mount system, which is a pretty stunning size, if you consider that the sensor is uh, more than twice the large. So you see, those are the facts, those are the patterns. I think um, if Sony would launch such a system, we would definitely see those primes. We would definitely see a larger sensor. It makes simple sense uh, for them to make uh, create a bigger gap with the full frame system. What I really doubt is that the, the sensor would be curved. Um, I have no info yet about uh, what the cost could be of making such a sensor compared to normal flat sensor. I don't know if it's even possible for them to mass produce them now. I know that there are curved sensors in, in the um, 
on a smaller scale made for the industry that's already in production. So that's uh, not a fancy stuff, but for medium format, that, that it's pretty, I guess it will, it will be very challenging to do. Those are the facts. And now we move on to the rumors. So the rumors I got are not from solid sources. So what I'm reading now, what I'm telling you now are um, simply wild rumors I got from different news sources, anonymous sources. And uh, the last one I posted um, in December and it said the following that Sony would launch a new medium format system within, within two years. And there would be two cameras at the beginning, a uh, low resolution 150 megapixel camera and a higher, higher resolution 200 me me megapixel camera. So, um, and uh, all those two cameras would come with uh, new lenses, all primes 1.7. And there would be a roadmap at the beginning with nine lenses, nine prime lenses. And um, there I got also recently some other rumors with Boston Sony for rumors um, uh, that are quite fancy. Uh, I still don't know what to think about it, but I will share them uh, soon with you. So point is, is there a chance Sony will do go will go medium format? I think the chance is low, but it's higher than it was years before. I think uh, they could make profit of it. And uh, if it would be that they really use a curved sensor, it would be a game changer. I think people would really buy it. Uh, the downside is I expect it to be uh, more expensive than the Fuji, definitely more expensive, but still half or even less expensive than current Hasselblad or Phase 1 cameras. So it would definitely find a place in the market of, for um, professional photographers, landscape photographers. And uh, I think it would be exciting to, to get this. Um, on a private note, uh, you see me here with the Fuji GFX. I really uh, tested it the past months and I realized that, I re that I'm not using it, uh, that it's um, that I'm still carrying my Sony R7R4 all the time because the lenses are simply smaller and um, it's uh, easier to carry with me when I hike. Uh, I also have more options. The Fuji system currently offers um, only few lenses and uh, not really the ones, the one lenses I need. So I think it's good time for me now to sell this camera. And uh, I hope my next medium format camera will be the Sony if it's coming. On the right side, just for fun, I added the Mamiya 6.7 uh, film camera. It's a camera that I still use and love. And uh, one day, maybe, I don't know, in the distant future, we will get a 6.7 digital medium format camera, which will be the ultimate coolest thing that I could own. So this is it. This is my quick overview about the possible Sony medium format system. Um, I kindly invite you to, again, subscribe to the channel. Uh, expect a lot of cool stuff coming on YouTube soon. Uh, I think next I will talk to you about new lenses coming from Sony and Sigma. And after that about the news, I will share some details about the Sony R7R5 and possibly R93. And in the meantime, I hope to get at least some clue what we can expect from that new kind of camera that is coming the next year. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.